Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm here with Zeus. He goes home tomorrow, which gives me the opportunity to show you what a dog looks like on the eve of their go home. I'm gonna run you through all of his commands, talking about body position as well as state of mind, how and when to use the remote, and Zeus is a special dog because he came at 100 pounds, under a year old, completely unmanageable. Nobody could walk this dog. Nobody could get this dog to listen. You couldn't even get him into a mindset where he could learn. That's why they needed to bring in the professionals. So I'll start with the heel. He's trained to walk at the left side at our pace, following our left leg. It's a working walk, which means he's not deciding where he's going. He's paying attention to me. If I wasn't filming, I could be holding a coffee. So it's a really enjoyable walk for the owners. If I stop, he should sit, sit. Good boy. Stay. And stay. He should also be able to listen to commands from a distance. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. Down. Good job. So he can listen to commands at a distance and he can also stay in those commands until released. We proof these commands by adding distractions. Distractions can be simply adding movement, like me walking behind him, me adding distance, walking far away from him. A lot of dogs struggle with that one. They wanna be right up against you. Adding sounds. Oh, hi, oh, you're so cute. Throwing things by him that he might wanna go check out. Zeus was a dog who came here loving to sniff everything and eat everything. And if we notice he needs some help in his command, I can ask for a double down. That's it, good boy. We have a FedEx truck coming. So I'm gonna heal him over here. Heal. Oh, it was going over there. So we'll heal back. down. Good job. But see how easy it was for me to move him out of the road when a potential truck was coming by. So we're back in our downstay through real world distractions, right? Now it gives me the opportunity to show you a recall. Recall means calling your dog to you. If you want to practice this, guess what that was? For whatever reason, he popped up. It might be because those dogs started barking, right? I immediately stopped what I was doing, which was talking to the camera. I held pressure on my remote. I'm at a 20. He felt the pressure and said, oh, I'm making a mistake. And he went right back down. That is so important because he's going to make mistakes. There is no doubt about that. It's what the human's response to his mistakes are. Do they let them slide? Or are they right there correcting when the mistake is made, correcting, putting him back? And then guess what? The mistakes are gonna stop happening. They're gonna happen less and less and less because he's gonna realize it's not worth it for me to make mistakes. Might as well listen to my owners. And then that's when life gets really, really, really good. So we're gonna practice the recall. That is just calling your dog to you, whether you've put them in a stationary command or they're somewhere off sniffing. You've always got your tone button, which is the T. You're gonna always pair that with your verbal, C-O-M-E, okay? The expectation is that he comes right here, somewhere in this vicinity, and sits or downs at my feet. You can say his name if he's not already looking at you, give a little space, and then give the verbal command. Come, good boy, praise as he's coming to you, good job. Sit near perfect position, and then you can give that dog a little pat on the head, Good boy. Now what you do from here, it could be back to a heel. It could be telling him to lie down again, or you can release him. So there's three options. Zeus, break, good boy. And then he's free. And I put that in quotes because there's still rules in free time. All right, just because I release him doesn't mean he can run up to that house, right? It doesn't mean he can start barking. It doesn't mean he can just start running away from me. So he's got to stay in my general area, right? and he's gotta be polite, just kinda how we are out in society. Good job, so this is his time to go potty, it's time to sniff, it's time to be a dog. Good job, marking on all the trees. So a really nice pattern that we like to do is heel to a destination, 
stop, have your dog sit, release your dog. I'll give you some privacy. Stop, buddy. have your dog sit, release your dog to go sniff, potty, have fun. And then whenever the time has run out, whenever you're like, okay, we need to get back to our walk, you recall them back to you and then you heal home. So watch, I'm gonna try a tone only. Good boy. Heal. Nice. All right, we're gonna try a long distance recall. I don't know if you can see, but there is Zeus right there, all the way across the court. Come. Good boy. That's it. Good job. Sit. Nice work. Very good job. Stay. That's a good choice. He thinks about moving, but he puts himself in a down. I like that. It's not the worst thing. Down. Very nice. Helps him relax. Let's try a tone only. Good job. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Try um, a long distance down stay and then a recall from his downstay across the court onto this place bed right here. So this time he has a target, a very specific spot we want him to land on and then lay down. Come, good job, good boy. Place, good job. Down, good boy. Now he's on the place bed. That's going to be your easiest way to get him on place from inside the house. When you're inside the house, it's going to be to stand behind the bed, recall, point to it, tell him place, and then tell him down. Zeus, name should be the attention getter. Break! Good point!